Greetings, and welcome to this week's episode of Con World. This week I wanted to talk about dwarves in my slowly developing universe, but first a few words on how I consider the development of races in general. A race, at least in Dungeons and Dragons, like magic systems, have a number of predefined characteristics. But this doesn't mean that the essence of the race isn't alterable. In the real world, cultures have developed distinct characteristics even though we are all human. Now imagine how different these cultures might appear with vast physical differences between their various inhabitants. Much of what defines a role-playing race is the origin and history of it, but the physical characteristics of the race will greatly affect the way its history will play out. This is especially true if a race has a mental tendency, like orcs being prone to violent anger or something like that. Now to dwarves. A physical characteristic dwarves are shorter than humans, but considerably more dense. They are much more broad. Dwarves will grow if unchecked extreme amounts of hair. Males have a tendency to be bald, but their beards can sometimes go down to their knees. Females can have an enormous amount of hair. Some can trip on their hair if they let it all the way down. In Conworld, dwarves were one of the first sentient races created by the original gods. Their primary purpose was to maintain magical devices of enormous power. In the worlds that they are present, they tend to have a few concentrated settlements, if not just one. Each of these settlements were originally established by one of the gods to maintain a magical device. Dwarves are very industrial, as much of their purpose was to use and maintain these super devices the gods created. The devices were extremely complicated and ranged widely in purpose. This also leads dwarves to narrow-mindedness and stubbornness. They do things which they know and have difficulty thinking outside of it. Dwarves don't have much of a tendency towards magic, but they have a great capacity for magical enchantment, which was usually integral to the maintenance of the super-magic constructions. During the God War, the dwarves were used in the creation of magical weapons. Afterwards, many of them just receded back into their own society, locking the doors metaphorically and not interacting with the outside world. Generally renowned as great craftsmen, many cultures trade with dwarves. The dwarves, in turn, um, often will allow merchants into their cities. It is uncommon to find a dwarf outside of their home in most worlds, and it is seen as an exotic oddity. Uh, most people may have never had the experience of seeing a dwarf, and are often surprised by their very reserved and calloused attitudes. Uh, so this week was uh, maybe a little bit short, but uh, thank you for watching. Uh, if you like what I'm doing, uh, you could share this series with a friend. Um, this would help grow the community here and might eventually make these videos a little easier to make. Um, so basically, I'm shamelessly shilling um, like any YouTuber. <laughs> Till next time, bye.